Hey friends, welcome to Sojo Videos. Today we're gonna be making an anime flower pot. I've actually seen this quite a bit ago on TikTok inspired by this person right here and I thought, dang, that's pretty cool. And it would be perfect to start off the new series I'll be doing for the next few videos, which is some DIY easy holiday gifts so you guys can make some stuff for your friends and family. I personally prefer making gifts than buying gifts just because I'm really bad at buying gifts, but if you know a friend that likes anime, this would be perfect for them. There's also two other videos in this series and you guys will see those in the next couple of days, so stay tuned for that as well. So for the video, I decided to paint a Kageyama from Haikyuu inspired flower pot painted similar to the jersey design that's in the show. I think it turned out really, really awesome and I hope you guys want to try it too, so let's just get on with the tutorial. So what you're gonna need is a terracotta pot, some acrylic paint, paint brushes, and a pencil. Once you decide which side of the pot you want to be the front, we're gonna get started on the design. Now the design was a little tricky to figure out first. I got inspiration basically from the actual Haikyuu jersey and also a TikTok that I saw before of someone doing the same DIY. If you wanna check them out, I think they're on TikTok. They've also got their own Etsy shop, but I just wanted to try doing this myself. So I first started with the collar part of the jersey and I decided to actually measure to try and make everything symmetrical and even. You don't really have to do this part, but I'm just worried about making mistakes. So I basically measured out around four or five centimeters on one side. It doesn't really matter what you pick, as long as you're okay with it. And use the card as kind of like a bed ruler to make straight lines. I continued using the same method of measuring and also kind of eyeballing and using the card as a ruler as I continued with the collar design. Now I'm getting started on doing the actual body torso part. So we've got stripes on the side, the numbers, and later on we'll do the details that are on the jersey, including like the logo and the writing. Now the number was a bit tricky, but I basically just did a letterman number, number nine, Kageyama, my beloved. But you can also just copy straight off of the jersey. Just a few things to keep in mind, make sure your outer edges are diagonal instead of corners. And you wanna make sure the thickness is about the same so it doesn't look too off-putting. Next up, I decided to use tape as the first thing I wanted to paint were the light parts or the white parts of the jersey and I wanted to make sure my lines were straight and everything, so we're gonna be using tape. My nine's crooked. Um, <laughs> probably should have checked them before I drew it. Okay, it's fine. Honestly, this part isn't really needed because since you're starting off with the light parts, when you go in later to paint like the surrounding parts you can straighten out the white but I just want to get myself a good guideline so I'm doing the tape thing first all right time to start painting we're gonna start off with the white sections first and I like to use flat edge brushes especially for projects where you need to paint straight lines and even layers and we're just gonna go in and paint in the sections we taped off. As you can see, it definitely helps a little bit so you don't have to be too careful about making straight lines right away. You kinda just paint over it and you can rip the tape off and voila, beautiful straight lines. I don't actually know if this worked. The paint's still kind of wet, but we're gonna. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty clean. Oh, let's go. Hey, yo. Oh, oh god, that's not clean. That's not clean. That's okay. We paint over that.
I decided to retouch a little bit just to fix some of the sizing on the numbers and lines. But again, this part isn't really necessary. And then we can move on to the next colors. One other extra thing, make sure you paint the top lip of your flower pot just to give it a cleaner look. Also another tip to help make straighter, cleaner lines, I like to twist basically where I'm painting. So I'm always painting downwards and it just helps with the process. Alright, and then next step, we're going to be starting on the orange portions of the jersey. So here I am measuring and drawing out where I'm going to be painting. Also, my method to picking which parts to paint first was the like smaller detailed parts, not like the full on details though, and then moving up to like the bigger things so it'd be easier to fine tune the stuff I already painted. Now this part technically also requires straight lines, but I didn't want to put tape since if you put tape over paint, there's a chance I might rip the paint off and these are big enough sections that I felt like I could freehand it. Another thing as well, if your paint is a bit more thin or you can still kind of see the terracotta showing through, just put more layers of paint basically on. Um, and here you can see I'm trying to be careful with my lines. Again, it's kind of more important in this stage, but just go slowly, try your best. It helps to paint a long an edge. So like the downward stroke you're making, the side of your brush is lining up the straight edge. Also, don't forget to paint the top edge of that flower pot. Okay, this is kind of a weird angle because this is in the way, but it's fine. Just ignore this. So we've got most of the orange white pretty much done. What's left is the black part of the uniform, but I'm planning on saving all the paint I use for this. So after I finish stuff, we can retouch, maybe straighten out some lines. Maybe if paint scratches off, you can like fill that in too. Next up is the black part. We're basically filling all this in. I'm gonna make a line here, line down the middle. Again, what's on the uniform. So far, it's been pretty good. I'd say some general tips going forward is I'm gonna be painting the front part first with the black and then afterwards the rest of the other side because that way you can actually hold the back while you're painting. Otherwise, it's just wet paint on one side. When the front dries, then we'll paint the back. I'm so excited. This is actually turning out really well. For the black, I don't really know how many coats it'll take, so we'll see. But for all the other colors, I did maybe one, two coats, just went over and over again. It's not too bad, so we're speeding through this. It's going well. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Thank you. 
We've got the black part on and we're gonna go a little more extra and actually do the detailing on the black. It's gonna have to go one or two ways. But we're gonna try, we're gonna try, okay? The point of this is to try. We're gonna try and make it work. So I'll go in with white, kind of freehand it because I don't think you can see pencil on this and just see what happens. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this is a weirdly detailed foot, but we're just gonna roll with it. <laughs> Bent. Never mind, it's false. Wait, I don't know. Okay, whatever. As you can tell, this is going great. I'm definitely not panicking. We're talking about a really, really hard part, which is the lettering. Listen, okay? I I went to Chinese school until grade four. I should know how to write these. I should. I really should. When was the last time I wrote Chinese? Years, years. It's been years, guys. I don't know. But we'll we'll see. We'll see. We'll try. We'll try. I'm, I'm kind of nervous, guys, if I mess this up. It's okay, we can restart, but like, I should know how to do this. Ah, it's so big! What about the other one? The other letter is literally huge! It's fine, this might not be spatially correct on the jersey, but that is okay, we're, we're trying. If that's kind of a thing, right? sweating bullets my hands were shaking but it worked it worked out it worked out it worked out that's doopy looking kind of clean though kind of ready to go and maybe paint the rest look at that look at that beauty ooh, ooh, ooh. okay let's finish this up and so excited Okay, oh, we're gonna fix this. Okay, literally span of like two minutes, chaos erupted. I like got paint kind of on like bad places and it's all over my hands. So majority of the back is painted black. I'm gonna let it dry and then we'll finish up like putting it right next to the edges, filling in some small spots. We're gonna do that when it dries so I can actually hold this pot and not smudge everything everywhere. And then we'll be done. And then we'll actually be done, okay. watching honestly that was really really fun and i got that done way sooner than i thought i did it took maybe two days so this is a really easy gift again for your friends and family if you want to make them if they're anime fans and yeah let me know how it goes if you try it out and stay tuned for the next few videos of this diy gift giving series i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next video bye happy holidays